All right, we are back. We have a rig that was sitting idle. This is just an old, uh, not an old motherboard. It's a Rockstrix, pretty powerful motherboard uh, with uh, AMD 5 on it. I go, why is this sitting quiet? CPU profits are back up. Let's fire this guy back up. I mean, it's only got one memory stick in here. I wish I had two. You really should have at least two channels full on your rigs for CPU mining. I'm going to have to dig around and see if I got an extra somewhere. I might have one somewhere. Hmm. I'll look around. Uh, but anyway, I fired it up. I don't have a jumper pin, uh, starter switch on this one, so I have to go up here. You're not going to be able to focus, but I have to go up to the jumper. Jeez, sorry, it's dark in here. I have to go up to the jumpers here, and I have to just short it out. You know, jump it like a car. Boom, right up there in the far left. I'm not going. I'm blocking it. Here we go. Oh my God, it's just impossible. Sorry guys. Yeah, right there, those pins, boom. You gotta jump those two and uh, it starts right up. We're gonna fire this puppy up. It's not gonna do as well as these other 9, 3900Xs. Uh, again, these are a couple years old. A lot of people have the newer CPUs, the 5900s, making more hash, making more, uh, making more uh, profits, uh, stacking more coins than the old 3900s. But I didn't buy any new hardware. This is two year old stuff. Repurposing it or just fired it back up, got the dust bunnies out. And I said, ah, let's just fire this guy back up. If I can make, uh, let's say, I don't know what these things make, 7 kilohash. Not too bad, under half of what the 3900s make. But yeah, it's better than nothing. It's just sitting here, and it doesn't use uh, much electricity at all. Look at, I mean, look at it. It's just a motherboard, one SDD hanging off it with one memory stick. And that is about it with an old AMD 5 sitting there. Boom. Yeah, let's go. So let's switch on over. We will switch on over to this puppy and uh, show you how I have nice hash set up on it. I'm going to look for another memory stick in the, while I switch cameras. All right. All right, we are back. You are looking at that rig I just fired up with the AMD Ryzen 5. On this rig, I have a fixed display thing because there's no uh, integrated graphics. So I just run this little script to make the resolution a little more manageable on that uh, rig since I'm uh, remoting in with Google Remote Desktop or something like that. All right, let's go. I have AMD Ryzen Master already installed. I do this because I set the voltage lower just to make the uh, CPUs run a little cooler. It works really well on the AMD Ryzen 3900Xs. Doesn't really affect or really uh, need it on the 5, but why not do it anyway? Oh, this one's a little bit older. So I go into creator mode and I have creator mode over here. And let's see, I'm in creator mode. CPU voltage is right there. We have a 1.1. And let's move this over here. Get that in the middle. There we go. And I want to do an apply and test. I must have an older version. This one definitely has an old. Well, yeah, this one must be an older interface. It's just different than the other ones. Apply and test. I have a 1.1 voltage. Let that puppy go. It'll do a running a stress test to make sure all the settings you have are good. So you're not going to, you know, overtax your uh, CPU. It's a nice little fail safe built in to the AMD Ryzen Master. Dun, dun, dun. So wait a few minutes. What you want to do is also go to uh, NiceHash, set up an account. It's super simple, guys. Follow the instructions and you can download NiceHash Miner uh, to your rig. I will go through my browser on this rig, and I'll go to NiceHash on this rig, log into my account, use the 2FA authentication, whatever. You wanna secure as much as you can, because there's always people out there trying to take your money and put it in their wallet, so you gotta be careful. All right, the self-test is done, so you know, like I said, if you don't have NiceHash Miner, or even, um, uh, I'll just stick with NiceHash for now, let's keep it simple. Just go to the NiceHash site, There's a, set up your account, log in, and just say, mine and then you'll go and say download miner and then it'll give you a link and you'll download this nice hash miner it installs boom you run the configuration it is so simple just go through the steps it's already documented on the nice hash site i'm not going to copy their stuff and make another video where you can just go simply do it uh yourself and follow the instructions so i fire this up we're ready to go it's doing that because i'm running as admin because the um oh, the big memory or whatever that stupid thing is needs to be uh, accessed all right, it's going to come up. Probably going to do some benchmarking first. Checking Intel. I don't have Intel. It's an AMD. Oh, it's loading the plugin. So we got one CPU. You can go look at your devices right here, Big Daddies. All right, let's see. 
I got a core processor. Look, it's an old dude, but who cares? CPU profits are up right now. I'm going to turn every machine on I have. I got a laptop. I'm going to fire that puppy up just to keep uh, maximize every piece of equipment in this house and uh, just keep mining, right? That's the goal. All right, so we have a Ryzen 5, 1600. It still only has one memory stick. I got to go up, go look at some other older GPU rigs and scavenge them. Scavenging old rigs to keep the newer rigs, the CPU rigs running. That's the name of the game. All right, let's go dashboard. All right, we're going to come over here. I got to enable it. I was doing some GPU testing last week. That's why I had the CPU disabled. All right. You can benchmark if you want. You can come here and see what I got. I don't really care. Let's see. I got random X Monero running XM rig. That's the only one I really care about. So that's already downloaded. You may have to go into the plugins. Boom, right here. Download the stuff you want. And for CPU, XM rig is good enough. GPU stuff, there's a whole, a whole bunch of other miners you could use. LOL miner, NB miner, G miner. Oh, whole bunch, whole bunch. And they'll run benchmark and find the best one for you. So let's rock. Let's just get into it. Benchmarking, oh great. All right, sometimes it doesn't do this and sometimes it does do this. There's probably, there's probably a setting I just never consistently set across all rigs. I think 90% of the rigs, it just starts mining. And then I do the benchmarking manually. So let's together, let's sit together and watch this. So right now it's just going out, checking your little CPU to see what it can do based on the uh, miner plugin, the, the XM rig the uh, type of hardware, the amount of memory, everything based on your hardware right now. It's benchmarking it before it starts mining. So we're going to see what happens. It'll go right in to the miner. It'll start up. And I'll get that error right here we already talked about. Hold on a sec. I need my cursor of truth. I don't know why. I always forget this stupid thing, but it helps so you can see where I'm pointing. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that, big daddies. The cursor of truth. When, when it does fire up, even though you have the admin settings and all this crap set, like they say, you'll still get this failed to apply MSR mod. Hash rate will be low. If you get that, even with the uh, admin run as admin set on the XM rig plugin and even on the nice hash miner, all I do is come over here, hit the old pause, give it a microsecond, bam, start it back up. Voila, it's gone. All right, let's let this spin up and see what the profits is on my little baby. AMD 5, the little engine that could, you know what I mean? We're going to see what it does. So you're gonna, I'm going to make you guys sit here and wait. All right, let's go. No thanks on that. Windows just keeps spamming me with crap. Oh, uh, this is Windows 10. Uh, yeah, Windows 10 running on an SDD, like I saw in the other part of the video, the earlier part. Uh, SDD has got one stick of memory. AMD 5, Ryzen 5, and that is it. No GPU, nothing else sucking power off that board. It's hanging vertically. I don't know why. It just looks like the Borg, so I don't know. It's just easier to hang them vertically. Hopefully, it keeps less dust accumulation. I doubt it, but who cares? Actually, it might because you're not laying flat, so we'll see. All right, we're mining. So we're doing about 20 cents a day. That's the first rough estimates of this guy. So, oh, 19 cents. So there you go. Let's go look at, let's see if it updated on the motherboard. And that's all there is to it. Once your rig's set up, again, the only one-off thing I do is I lower the voltage, 1.1, boom, and it keeps the temps low. But the hash rate's still the same, so it's a win right there. Let's go look at the old nice hash. And again, if you don't know who I am, I've been doing this since 2017, 2016, 2017, buying stuff, mining, and got big in the GPU mining, spent a lot of money, <laughs> a lot of money. Never recouped all of it. Uh, sold a lot of my GPUs because it was just a lot of electricity, a lot of heat, a lot of maintenance, just a lot of high maintenance items. The GPUs are high maintenance, like like a like a pretty girl, man. High maintenance, man. You don't want that. So I sold them and uh, sold most of them. Kept the little ones. I got a couple little 1660s and 6600s lying around for the apocalypse in case I need them. Uh, but yeah, I got rid of that crap. And also some wires were burned. I don't know why I had good HP power supplies. Just some cheap wiring power cables made me nervous. Uh, yeah, they don't want to burn your house down. So again, I like CPU mining, been doing this a while. Uh, big on the Ethereum crap until that went st uh, proof of stake. Uh, then things went quiet for a while. Then I was playing around with CPU mining on Zerg pool on uh, two, was it um, Monero Ocean? 
uh, there's another couple. They're all over the place. I was bouncing around just chasing those little baby coins to see which was the most profitable. Then I found out on Zergpool you could get paid in Bitcoin. They took their fee cut. I said, this is a lot of work chasing these coins, blah, blah, blah. Turned the rigs off because it went into kind of a winter mode where nobody was making anything off mining. And then recently, back in uh, November, things perked up big time. And I just went, I'm keeping it simple. I've done my duty, done, done my, done, you know, earned my stripes. I'm going to keep it simple. Glad I got rid of the GPUs. Do not miss them. Uh, I'm running the CPUs. And I said, geez, man, I was making like two bucks per, per rig. Oh, this isn't bad. It's hobby money, right? For fun. And then I said, this is all right. And I said, let's just do nice hash. Let's keep it simple this time. That way you won't lose your temper, get mad at this crap and just waste your time. Less effort, the better. And I ran a nice hash like you're seeing here with all my seven rigs. And uh, it gets paid out in Bitcoin. I've been stacking since before Thanksgiving when it was the great time before the dark time, before the uh, profits dropped. Uh, but it was really good back around Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, not too bad. But it does fluctuate. So that's where we're at now. We got this number five. Where'd it go? Or did I change the number? Is it two? I'm not consistent. Yeah, this one's an older one. Yeah, so here it is. Wow, 2.62 kilohash compared to... Oh, that one's not reporting. When you get a zero, sometimes it's not reporting. So you get about a 12 kilohash rating on some of these. Yeah, some of these aren't reporting. When you get low ones like this, that means uh, the dashboard's not getting updated. But I'll go check. But sometimes you have to go over and um, kick the rig sometimes. Uh, let's see. So you can see what we're doing right now. We're still stacking coins. I'm going to go over to six. All right, we're back. Uh, yeah, I had to go start and stop that one. You got to keep an eye on some, some of these sometimes. Uh, it could, oh, we're up to 3.49. You could just be getting non-reporting to the dashboard on IceHash, but sometimes jump over like number eight here and check out what's going on. So eight's got to go. Let's check nine. Nine looks good. I got to figure out sometimes why they drop up. Oh, so 13. And six, 13 and eight. I just did six, six restarted. So let's do eight and 13. All right. Yeah, so you kind of got an error here if we're looking. Read error, end of file, no active pull, stop mining. Not sure what happened there, but it's kind of coming back, but it's definitely off. So what I do is I just stop, stop it, give it a second, fire it right back up. Probably get an error. I got to do it again. Get rid of that MSR mod error. That's the way it goes, big daddies. Got to play the game. There we go. All right, that one's back. So the dashboard is nice. Check it once a day if you're running. If you get a zero, go kick your uh, rig in the butt. Get it back up. Had an issue. It tried. To, it looked like it restarted. I don't know if this is popping up. This stupid Windows crap. How is Windows like one of the richest companies in the world? Oh my god. All right. So let's go do it again. Same thing. Kill it. Start it. We'll get the MSR mod. You just got to do this crap. I know there's a fix somewhere, but I don't want to waste too much time on this. All right, fire it up. Boom, little maintenance check. Everything's back up and running. Let's go back. Let's just get out of here, save my network. Boom. All right, go back to the dashboard, and they'll all come back up eventually. Let's see. So six came back up with a healthy 12 kilohash. The AMD 5 is up to 351. I'm going to look for a memory stick shortly. And I got to wait for 13 to report in. We'll give that a minute. I have auto refresh on, so 40 seconds. We will see a refresh. And hopefully it's uh, updated the hash rate. And we'll see what our new profitability is, even though it's just a warm, fuzzy number. Not, you know, it fluctuates up and it fluctuates down, fluctuates sideways. And sometimes it does nothing at all. Yeah. Good times. Good times. To do. Now, I know you can do the same thing on Hive OS. You can set this stuff up. And I think based on the number of rigs, you got to pay Hive OS. I, I can't remember how many. It might be different for CPUs. But I remember with GPUs, if you got this many rigs, you got to you know, pay a fee. It's not wasn't much, but, but whatever. I can't remember if they paid on Bitcoin, though. I don't remember. But NiceHash has been around, man. They have proven they've been around. They got a bunch of other gaming you know, type of um, uh, products you can buy, hash rates, stuff like that. Like, Pick ram, random, gamble, whatever. Are you, do you feel lucky type stuff? Go check it out. It's on their site. I don't do it because, you know, I'm already gambling enough with this stuff. Uh, I just like accumulating. I don't want to go risk all I've made so far. 
just to flush it down and give it right back to the house. All right, let's see what we're doing. Are we up oh, 36 seconds? Come on. All right, so the 13's back. Uh, 1152. That is that is its initial reporting hash. It should go up a little bit. Again, they fluctuate between 11 and 13. The 3950 goes up to 14 sometimes. Ah, uh, this is looking good. Six is looking good. That kind of dropped off a bit. And the old probability has not updated yet. It probably takes a while. But that is where I'm at right now. I'm utilizing every machine and got to find some more parts for two. And we'll get everything up and running. And I'll probably fire up a laptop just to maximize. Oh, there we go. We jumped up to five bucks a day. Estimated profitability. It says current actual profitability, but it's just a warm, fuzzy number. Because in 40, wait, where's the time? 49 seconds, it's going to change again. So. There you go, guys. That's all I got. Nothing much else, else going on. If you got a hardware lying around and you like to have a hobby like mine, go ahead and turn it on. You know, tweak it, have fun with it. But don't throw too much money at it. Just get it up and running and maybe you make a buck or two a day. Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. Yeah, what else we got going on? We got Bitcoin price before we leave. Boom, let's hit it. Let's hit it. Oh my God, everything's down today. Yeah, I want it to go down. I'm, I want to buy back into some stuff. I was looking at the Magnificent Seven stocks. The top seven stocks that basically dictate the success of the stock market, the S&P 500. It's only seven stocks. It's the ones you think, Google, Tesla, NVIDIA, Meta, Microsoft, blah, 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 Apple. And what do we have? Bitcoin, 42.6, just hovering about. It's been bouncing between 42 and high 43s. We'll see what happens. I think the ETF stuff took a lot of energy out of the Bitcoin market again. You buy the rumor, you sell the news. Lesson learned on that one. I'm, I, mean, I didn't put much money into the thing, but it's just, I'm down about 20 bucks. Woo. Yeah, that's only if I sell. That's unrealized uh, capital loss. So I'm just, it's, it's just going to sit there because whenever I do move stuff, this, the, the crap always shoots to the sky afterwards. So I don't know. Uh, let's, oh, where's Kramer? Well, there's a Kramer quote. Let's do this real quick. You might get a kick out of this, guys. Oh my God, where is it? Kramer made a thing. This guy is, is sounding off again. Here he is. Oh, it's right up front. The SEC does not deem Bitcoin ETP investment safe, says Jimbo Kramer. This guy is a shill. He is a paid mouthpiece for the regime, for the mainstream media, for the, for the, uh, for the good old boys. You just cannot believe anything this guy says. Enjoy the show, guys. It's going to be a hell of a year, man. A hell of a year. Do not listen to anybody on YouTube is my advice. Do not listen to any financial advisor, CFPs, CFAs, none of these clowns, man. They, uh, they don't care about your money as much as you do. Just learn and educate, educate yourself, and uh, you may do all right. Just don't be foolish with your money. It's hard to earn that back. It's hard. I mean, you can earn money back, but you can't make the time it took to earn that money back. That's the big thing. All right, I'm out. Let's see how, oh, one last check. I can't leave. That's too much fun. Oh, yeah. It's not much. I got to find more memory for that. All right, that's all. We're just playing around tonight. Go forth. Mine on. Yeah. Talk to you guys later. I'm out. Boom.